It is turn first contact. We have encountered the Abaddon Imperium and we've had three combats in uh, that system over there and neither of our ships seem to have killed each other. So, let's see what happened. Oh my god, what is this? First of all, why is it so pink and then why is it so circular and why can't I see the grid? Now I know that, uh, and I've mentioned before that the combat arena is pretty small, it's a circular thing and I guess you actually start at the edge here, that's my ship, that is his ship. I guess we are in a nebula? I guess we met each other in open space then, and not on a war point. Let's look at his ship. He has a red edition level 1, he has a bunch of armor plates, he also has a light stealth coating. He does not have any weapons. And he's using a nuclear reactor and level one thrusters. Okay, that is actually not very different from anything I would be using. Here's some extra fuel tanks. I'm not sure why. With this, he's going to have two speed as well, um, which means he's going to use 60 supply a turn, which is exactly what a nuclear reactor at level one outputs. Um, strange, but maybe that's just how he rolls. He also has a stealth coating, but, uh, well, we seem to have found each other anyway. His sensors couldn't detect me through my stealth coating, but I turned mine off the other turn. Which may or may not be why we are encountering each other now. So what happened in the combat, he just uh, sat his fat ass there. And eventually started trying to avoid me as I came in closer. Can't actually see the... Uh, uh, the range radius now it's uh, way too faint in this pinkish mist but he's running away from me he has a combat speed of 15 I have a combat speed of 15 we're never going to catch each other so gun on a ship or not not going to s uh, we're not going to fight each other like this and I guess the same thing and uh, just uh, continue twice. What is he going to uh, take f away from my design? No, nothing else. I have exactly the same tech on my design, except I put a gun instead of a sensor on mine. That is really the big difference between our two ships here. And yeah, he made the combat shorter. Combat only ends after 60 seconds of combat. Yep, anything else happen? No, not really. So, let's look at his stats. He has picked Gas Hydrogen. He uh, obviously has Neutral Government Society. Let's look at his tax later. He picked Negative Organics Production and 20% Research. And Psionic Technology. I have no idea what Psionic Technology <laughs> is. <laughs> Floating aspect thing. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's probably the next best, next best thing to ugly bags of mostly water, floaty bags of mostly gas. <laughs> Look at his tanks. Nuclear physics three. Uh, they might be off by a little bit. Military industry and the other theoretical tanks. Mm, he may have better ta better bombs. Unlike bombs, bombs kill planets. He obviously has power too because he had the nuclear reactor. Uh, from this, I can't uh, make any uh, immediate threats. Are going to become clear from this. He just has most of his tech points spent into these uh, theoretical techs, it looks like. What do the estimates say? Total population, some resources. 10 cruisers, 13 army and 27 gunboats and 7 freighters. So he's actually built quite a bit and we have apparently hit this one destroyer that he sent out. So I'm guessing he's also scouting with cruisers then or what? But he has 13 armies which is going to be very nasty for this invasion fleet I send around. And he has 27 gunboats which are probably going to guard his colonies or war points. Maybe his home world, we'll see. So, that does not bode well for our little invasion fleet, but I'm still confident that we can uh, that we can conquer one of his outlying outposts unless he builds 
more armies than I brought, which is two and then twenty fighters. Uh, yeah, the monsters invasion invasion fleet, which yet has many turns, many tiles to go, which is an entire sector from our homeworld. Mm. Well, they get there eventually. These two guys are in the same sector here. Um, um, mm, what do? Here. Mm, the sector is also covered by this mist. I would like to catch the ship if it enters this uh, warp point. Which means we definitely want some kind of warship there sooner or later. But they are on the way and they're not gonna go any faster even if we yell at them. So let's just let them go there. I hope they can catch this ship once it goes here. I would like to follow this ship. So let's just at attack seek it. I don't know where it goes, but attack seek will keep following it even if we don't have sensor range on it. Um, and if we're lucky, we might even interrupt his progress from uh, just walking anywhere. We might stop him from being able to reach anywhere. Just by attacking him over and over again and having him run away in a circle. We could cloak the ship, but uh, it's way out of his sensor range yet. So that's probably not necessary. So he's most likely behind this warp point, which is the closer one to my homeworld through this system. Which means if behind this warp point there is uh, just another appendage, another few systems, then he might be boxed in in a few systems over here. Or maybe there's more systems connected through both of these warp points, we'll see. Hmm. The ship. Mm. Let's move you to here for now. Let's move you one tile before and then we can decide what we want to do with you again. Well, we're obviously not going to make a treaty or anything. So... Here. Yeah. What else can we take away from this? He likely has lots of big ships, lots of cruisers, which means my missiles are going to be quite effective, I, I uh, assume. Which means we should invest into these gunboats and uh, the gunboat carriers as soon as we have them available. Da -da -da -da. Let's one turn this. Mm -hmm. and then we we'll probably want to put all these fancy new things on our ships. And then we we'll want uh, the next level of industry for the new uh, bigger ships and wherever these uh, docking bays exactly that's the docking bays that's the one we're always looking for where they unlock so we don't need anything else for this just uh, orbital industry one and we can unlock docking bays which let us launch the gunboats or maybe they'll even unlock us at a better level of gunboats uh, corvettes probably and carry us which I'm guessing is the next level of freighters. Or maybe the dedicated carriers, let's see. But that's uh, going to be five turns off. And next turn we're gonna have lots of new tech to play with. And we finally found our opponent.